Hello everybody, welcome back to Pitch Black Dungeon, my name is Bear. I am excited for this week, although I, uh, I do empathize with those of you who feel it may not have as many grave implications as standard weeks do. We more or less have a throwaway squad this week, and I'm gonna try to make as money- or, uh, as much money from them as I possibly can, while also having some fun with the build, because the build is awesome! I think it's gonna be exciting once we get into the, uh, into the thick of it, but let me break down the estate before we do that. Uh, to stay in here trying to get rid of some stress, I also spent some of our deeds and portraits in here in the sanitarium to upgrade medical devices. This now has a better chance to improve more than one disease along with having reduced disease treatment cost, which I found was probably worth it. I'm still gonna have to get quite a few more deeds now in order to upgrade the blacksmith furnace, but I, I'm pretty damn sure that the sanitarium upgrade is worthwhile right now. So, uh, we still got our priorities in order, though. We are gonna benefit from this mission, uh, as far as contributing to our heirloom pool as well, so there's, uh, there's some added value there. Yeah, let's talk about what we got going on, though. Going into the wield. It is an exterminate. It is not easy. I don't want you to think that I'm assuming a victory here, because I'm not. We've got a few level zeros. I, I am far from guaranteed a comfortable margin here. But, I'm pretty confident all the same. I feel pretty good about a couple of things in particular. This guy, being chief among them. And this thing right here, giving me a little bit of an added bonus to the ego. Ethereal Crucifix, and the uh, Demon's Cauldron, giving him some extra little crit chance there. He's gonna be killing shit, yo. Look at this. Look at all this stuff. We've got not as many Eldritch targets, admittedly, I don't think in the wield as we would in the cove, so I was kind of hoping for a cove opportunity here, but the wield is still good. But he gets plus 15 here, plus 25 there, plus crit chance, which is also coupled along with the town event, of course, don't forget, plus 5% on this next quest. We should be critting quite a bit up front here. We've also got our Abomination, who doesn't have as much. We're going in dark, though, by the way. Moon ring, moon cloak, why not? He's gonna be hitting pretty hard, too. Occultist back here with the four-leaf clover. One I was considering actually giving to this guy in place of the demon's cauldron, but I really do like the added stun chance to the hands from the abyss. Not only is this a good corpse clear, but it is probably going to end up being used quite a bit. The crit mod is really good on it, too, 10%. Same as the sacrificial stab. So hopefully we get a lot of goodness there, too. Uh, but he's not gonna be as focused on the damage, although he certainly does hit pretty hard himself. And he's got the Eldritch Slayer's Ring, so I mean, maybe I just lied to you. That very well may be what my, uh, previous brain had planned on, but I, <laughs> I can't keep track of all that. Uh, but yeah, we're- I mean, he's- he's gonna be good for that too, of course. He's got both the Abyssal Artillery and the Stab, so he's gonna be able to hit just about as much as this guy. But he is also in the back. So, you know, he's got to, he's a little bit safer to heal up and do all the things we need to do. Speaking of healing up, it was a debate I was having whether or not I should keep the Antiquarian's heal on in favor of something like the Get Down or maybe even the Festering Vapors, but I seriously doubt I'd get value out of that. But I elected to keep this in case we end up on Death's Door more often than I anticipate. Which, I mean, looking at our health pool here, yeah, that's... That's probably gonna happen. So, uh, it ended up being Conniving Stab. I'm using Invigorating Vapors here. I'm pretty damn sure with the amount of, uh, marks that are prevalent throughout the wheel, I'm gonna end up, uh, seeing some, some good uses of this skill here that I really haven't utilized that often otherwise. Then Protect Me, of course. I've got Quick Draw, which means I should be able to use this at the onset of just about every fight. I was thinking about doing something like throwing the Antiquarian up front and having the Occultist both in the back, but that does take away my ability to do things like Hands from the Abyss, so I kind of elected to just keep this more natural formation instead. You know, just the, the run-of-the-mill double Occultist Antiquarian Abomination run. That's just standard fare these days, right? All right. It's an exterminate. I'm gonna have to spend quite a bit to actually prepare for this, but I am gonna I'm gonna try to learn a lesson from last week, which I I, I recognize that uh, I I do tend to uh, prepare with provisions that I ought not provide. That was, that was some decent alliteration, right? I try to I try to work those in where I can't spice it up every now and then. I am gonna bring a full stack of shovels. Uh, I kind of actually liked having more keys. That ended up being. Maybe a couple more than I really needed last time, but we have an exterminate here, so I'm anticipating using quite a few more. And then, you know, holy water is actually a really tempting one here, too. I was thinking about whether or not I wanted to try to manage the stress that way. Stress is clearly going to be an issue here, but at the same time, I sort of fully anticipate not keeping 
very many of these guys around. Maybe the Antiquarian, but even then, they've been coming and they've been fucking showing up like flies, so... I think I can just dispose of her if I really need to. Uh, otherwise... I almost want to bring a few of these just for, uh, curio interactions, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and bring a full stack, because why not? Well, actually, no, that seems ridiculous. Let's just do, like, three. Three in case we find some backpacks, and then the Antiquarian gets a lot of, a lot of value there. Uh, as far as these right here, really, what do I need? Bandages, because we've got two occultists, I'm sure bleeds will be happening. Herbs? Probably not. Well, no, I mean, we've got a few... I'm gonna bring these, I like them. And I'm almost gonna bring the holy water, too. But I don't think so. I think I'll leave this be... We got six inventory slots as a result of this amount of preparation. I'm pretty tempted to just bring two more of these because it's only 150 gold and I know I get a lot of value out of those things. So, yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's do it. Oh my god. Hey, uh, real quick side note here. I'm, I'm at like 99,200 subscribers or something ridiculous right now and that blows my fucking mind. So before I uh, before I hit the big time and become a mega celebrity at a hundred thousand and they they give me the red phone to Mr. YouTube I just want to thank you guys for for supporting the little guy before I blew up No, but seriously, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. That is such a cool fucking milestone and I I Never really expected it to get that far. So that is Let pretty awesome a victim to the spreading Oh, what am I doing? Malformed what am I doing? Old habits die hard. Okay, yeah, sorry, but I'm, I'm too busy gloating over here to focus on the gameplay. So yeah, thank you. I'll, I'll leave it at that. But I, of course, I'll have more than just me briefly mentioning it in this video. I'm, I'm, I'm planning on doing like a live stream actually for when the actual moment hits. But till then, just suffice to say, thanks. This is fucking awesome. I appreciate being able to do it, and I'm glad you enjoy it. So there we go. And this is probably going to be an opportunity. Well, no, I was going to say this is going to be an opportunity to utilize the uh, mark clear, but that. Almost certainly won't happen. This is uh, Eldritch Targets, however. That's what I should be excited about. And let's just try to kill you to start off with. Although you're a shapeshifter, it might be better off to start here. I'm taking way too much time in this first action. Let's just do that. 23.5%! Are you seeing that right now? Holy balls! That's awesome. And now we're gonna go with this, too. We've got this uh, new recruit stress, by the way. I don't know if you knew noticed that one. Ah, uh, you know, if I transform here, we can totally rake these guys, but I could also just go for a stun, and I'm okay with that, too. He's got 100% base chance, though, so it's not really that likely. So, actually, you know what? I'll, I like that a little better. Let's... Let's clean house. Wow! What the hell, man? Oh, my God. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. That is way more than I thought it would be. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Way more stress from the transformation than I anticipated. I guess that's what I get for giving them all those added stress damage buffs. Oh, shit. Hey, there we go, though. Executed. And, I mean, that is part of the formula here, too, isn't it? The fact that I'm trying to rely on those crits to reduce the stress. Even though I've so- oh my Jesus Christ, look how bad that gets. Even though I have sort of... Sort of let these guys out to dry as far as that's concerned. Like, I'm just- I'm- I'm accepting that there is gonna be a shitload of stress as a result of this. Oh, that's gonna be a, uh... Okay. So, I read a comment. Which I do, every now and then, from time to time. I read a comment that said, perhaps... The, uh... Ooh, I'm gonna try this out. Perhaps the corpses in the front are the only ones... That are actually capable of, uh... Dishing out, or, uh, doling out the disease. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. And that almost seems like a possibility to me. Something that I, uh, certainly want to investigate. I'm gonna try to pay close attention to that this time around and, uh, see if there's any truth to it. Alright, we are, of course, gonna keep this- ooh, nice, yeah, we're gonna keep this torchlight down, down, down. That's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, you know, we, even, we haven't had a single one so far, so we're good. Yeah, that stress clearly is, uh... Man, it's, that's in a territory already where I'm like, okay, do I need to just camp out real fast and... address any pressing issues at the moment? Luckily, this party shuffle actually doesn't hurt us that much. The only thing I was... Back to the pit. 
Oh, that's beautiful. The only thing I was uh, debating, of course... Oh, no, I did mention this, didn't I? Yeah, the fact that I wanted to take Git down in place of Fortifying Vapors, perhaps, but... I figured there's going to be a lot less situations where I'm going to regret having the heal as opposed to regret having the get down, right? Because I'd much rather be able to keep somebody off of death's door than be in the wrong position. It seems a little bit more valuable. Come on, one shot! You got 30% chance to crit and you can only do 9 damage, man? Come on! Get with the times here. I'm hopefully going to be able to abyssal. No, it's the wrong one. Shit. See, I, I gave him the the mismatched hats so I could try to remember which one was which. But that is still obviously not as helpful as keeping them in the correct positions. I should probably go ahead and slam. If I can slam this guy, he does have a good amount of stun resistance. Let's see this skill first. That is uh, 159. Of course, it automatically stuns me, basically. If I do that, oh, that's... I mean, that's a pretty damn good chance to do it. I could also almost certainly kill one of these two by doing that, but I do a ton of fucking stress damage by transforming, so I think I just have to deal with the fact that he's back there. And uh, maybe just try to kill these guys. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Well, that's clearly suboptimal. Jesus Christ. He did move back, but I don't know if that really helps me. I think I gotta move this guy forward to get this dude in the position to do Abyssal Artillery, because that's super valuable right now. Uh... Be gone, I mean, it is still good to one-shot those dudes, but how long am I gonna be able to do this? I think I need to move you back so I can have the Abomination do a stun or even something of value. And let's go... I mean, we Weakening Curse isn't bad. I could also do this. It's not a high stun chance, but it does clear the corpse, which is helpful at least. And it's a crit! Ooh, we got him too! Nice! That's exceptional. Okay, and I think I'm just gonna try to finish this dude off with the, uh... with the Abominations hit. That's fine. Any crits we can potentially get on this guy are obviously more than welcome, and now we get that. Okay. We can do Hands from the Abyss again, uh, to clear this one. I don't mind the extra little bit of stress from that too much. Uh, I'll just go ahead and go for that, I suppose. I almost want an absolution, but it's not really necessary. Oh god damn it! Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna have to stab this guy down. This is just this is just bad. This is just unfortunate. That is helpful though. What was blight resistance? I see that. With impunity. That's super helpful. That right there. That's what I need. That's what I needed to build this team around is that little buff. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened. It has actually managed to work out all my stress by itself, hasn't it? This momentum. Push on to the tasks end. We are feeling quite a bit better now, apart from that little interaction, which makes me feel like a big old sack of poopy. That's okay, though. We'll make do. Hey, there we go. That's better. I didn't even notice from the last, uh, like, fallen antiquarian fight, whatever the hell you want to call those things, we got three or four rare antiques from that. So, of course, every single time we can possibly get that fight, I more than welcome it. Oh, one-shot chance isn't great. 30% chance to crit here, so... If I actually do land with the crit, I think any of them die from that. But I could also use a heal pretty badly here. Very good. See, if you got two occultists, it compounds the likelihood that one of their heals isn't gonna suck. Oh, God, rabies. His accuracy is okay, right? I mean, he's got the Moon Cloak, so that should be- or wait, no, the Moon Ring, right, yeah, so that's helping him out quite a bit, along with the Town Event, so... Actually, you know what? <laughs> that's kinda nice! That's really good! Whoa! Thank you! Thank you very much! I appreciate that! That is extremely helpful! My god, she has 90 stress, though. We should- we should address that pretty quickly. Uh, and not use anything that would add on to it, by the way. Yeah, that's a smart move. All right, uh, another stab. We can probably stun you. I can actually blight these guys. Precision and power. Shouldn't have been so so uh, sarcastic about that lowered blight resistance. It actually does have some use here. Oh my god. Okay, didn't stack the bleed at least. I think I'm gonna try for this. If I do five, that's ah, uh, that's not quite enough. Okay, so 
It's not as helpful. I almost want to just take the chance on removing this bleed because it is... It's six damage total. And I'm taking away one tick of it every time I do that. Ah, uh, well, all right. That's what I get. I probably should use Protect Me, actually, but there we go. Oh, boy, come on now! All right. All right, all right. Those who covered injury find it in no short supply. Yeah, I, I totally welcomed this on myself. Protect Me was absolutely the correct play there. That was a mistake. Oh, my God. All right, now, healing is probably still necessary. Hey, there we go. There's still a chance we get out of here, okay. Crit's obviously more than welcome still. There's a Nasher down, at least, and maybe we'll be able to stun this one, too. We can still Absolution him to help him out. There we go, baby! That's right. Okay, he's down. She only needs a little more help. I could still use a heal of some sort. I think I'll go ahead and pop that one. And uh, we'll just do the stab here, I think. Oh, my goodness. That stress damage received is really hurting us. Really getting pretty bad now. These are the risks I took. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. These are the paths I walk. And I need to camp. Because I do not want her just stringing along a series of heart attacks straight away. Kind of hoping for a few more empty rooms here because this is uh, proving to be a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. But let's try it. Now, you know what? You don't get to decide that. Circle in the dark. Yeah, I guess you can do that, that though. Yeah, no, running. thanks. Thanks. Fueled by the blood of your enemies, huh? Sounds like it. Oh, my goodness. I think I've made a horrible error here. I also don't have a way to prevent the ambush, which I think I actually knew ahead of time, and I was sort of just anticipating that happening. Ah, boy. So. Clearly not going to reduce any, uh, any stress here. So, let's do... Ooh. Hold on, no, there we go. That's pretty useful. Yeah, definitely want to do that. I could wound care her, I could certainly use it. Yeah, she just didn't want to do it, okay, that's fine. Completely acceptable. Abandon hope. Tempting. Tempting, tempting, tempting. Uh, Dark Ritual is also quite good for her, but I think I'll just take a heal. Probably be fine. Increase the companion's damage. Uh, we're not even really worried about the damage. It's all just about this stress that we're dealing... We're mostly dealing this to ourselves is the thing. By virtue of the darkness... Of the added stress damage. You know what? I almost want to do that. Just just for the goof at this point. Oh boy. Uh, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take a chance on that one. That was alright, I suppose, and, uh... Well, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Disease herb. Worth more than a small dagger. And encourage... you. There we go. Okay. No ambush, please. No ambush, please. No ambush, please. Oh, please, no ambush. Not too bad of one, right? That's acceptable. That's... yeah, all right. Yeah, all right, that'll do. You're not gonna let me heal you. Come on now. All right, how about a crit for old time's sake, huh? Boy, oh boy. At least let me take a turn. You debuffed yourself. Loss of... Oh, you get more damage received till the end of the quest. That is very masochistic, I suppose, isn't it? Ah, uh, huh, let's see. Let's not allow you to do anything else. Well, I mean, I was hoping for it, but all right. Do they do anything else at this point, or is that they're just going to do their most powerful move forever? Oh, my God, man, the blackest bitch. Oh, it's so awful. So much stress. I, it is way worse than I thought. Way worse. I have just, oh, my God. There is no way we're not getting out of here without somebody having a goddamn heart attack now. So much fucking damage from that. Rabies as well. Just add it. Why not? Give them all. Give them all here. I'll take them. Stack on the goddamn punishment. He's gonna bleed out, dude. He's gonna bleed the fuck out. Come on, buddy. Help yourself. Yes. 
Actually didn't stack, too. Holy shit, man. This is silly. Spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. I'm gonna keep going, because it's fucking fun at this point. Oh, you know, I really should have bandaged that, but... Oh, what a goof. What a goof. Way more stress than I ever thought would actually occur, but... This is how you learn that kind of shit, isn't it? And I'm gonna have her... I'm gonna force feed her... Military rations down the gullet. Hey, we might actually be able to, uh... Oh, wait, did I reshuffle my party? No, I did not. No, I did not. Alright, well, that's a bummer. I was gonna say we might actually be able to use a missile artillery, but there it is! That's where that one is! We should try to kill these guys first, more than likely. Uh, let's do this as well. Something we should have been doing a long time ago! Stun chance pretty damn good here. It's a corrupting scratcher as well. It makes a lot of sense to try to mitigate that damage. Grit! Yes! Oh, every now and then it just works out. Okay. Oh, God. They just don't stop that. That bleed chance has just got to be astronomical, man. Okay, this is scary. Gotta help him out. Need a big heal from somewhere. Oh, my God. How's your death blow resistance, dude? Are you really fast, too? But he did just get rabies, so he shouldn't act first, right? More dust. More ashes. <laughs> more disappointment. <laughs> Ah! Ah, the pain! Oh, God! Hurt! Agony, torment, anguish! Oh, God! Wield, please! Wield, why? Why do you hurt me? You bring me down into this abyss of torture. Syphilis? Syphilis? No! Madness, our old friend. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the horror! The eldritch horrors of the wheel! Will I ever see their end? Will this agony ever cease? Will you ever shut up? There we go. Hey, that's a good little bit of help right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, no, please. No, continue talking. That's clearly been very helpful. Mark yourself. Oh, no, yeah, we gotta do that. Gotta make sure that's happening. They don't even use Rabbit Rush anymore. Why don't they even have the skill? I mean, I wouldn't do it. Shit, if you got one that's just like, hey, do the same thing, but have it be twice as effective. Why would you ever do the first one? Oh my god. I don't even know what to do of it at this point. Just heal him up, yep. Yes, sir. We all know, we all know this is over, right? We all know this ended. This is just an exercise in, you know, masochism. You know, masochism. Masochism, that's what this is. That's, that's the, uh, that's the lesson we learned here. Nice stab, though. Oh, hey, look, he did extravagant mutilation. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. I don't know if you guys knew this, but the rabid Nasher actually has two skills available. One's called Rabid Rush. It's worse, though. So he won't use it. Because why would you? And now, the true test. Hold fast. Or expire. Oh, yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked. More like get raked. hey -o. That was a uh, raked? With a K, by the way? Just in case. Just in case. All right, this was a fun one. See ya. Nope. Proposition in this sprawling. 
Oh man, good old throwaway characters. You gotta do this every now and then, man. Keep your own uh, sanity in check. Right? Yeah, that's a good way to phrase it. Hey, we win! Hooray! We get to keep everything! These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. That's mostly what I wanted. Alright, cool. Well, let's do that. And that. And that. And that. And that. And then do that. And that. And that. Alright. Hey, man. Thanks for living. Appreciate you. Let's camp out so you don't die on your way out of the... Well, no, you can leave, can't you? Let's just go. See ya! Ignorance of your enemy and of yourself will invariably lead to defeat. Now, I agree with you, yeah, that's... That's an accurate assessment of the situation. I am a wheeled explorer now, though, so at least there's that. Tonight, the fools make merry. Tomorrow, they die laughing. Yo, that's actually awful. Oh, man, that sucks balls. Okay, well. Interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go double jester, I think, even though, god damn it, it is, it is forcing me to level these guys up. That's no fun. That sorta totally sucks. Shit! Well, this week didn't go well. We're gonna have to figure this out. Hmm. I'm not hurting too bad. Like I, I'm fine. I'll be able to. I'll be able to move forward here. But I am a little worried about the fact that the jesters are are basically going to be taken away from me. We're gonna have to start a little bit fresh there as well. This guy, he's gone. By the way, yeah, I don't know if you ever thought that he was gonna be recovering from that. Nope. See you later. Soul battered and broken. Cast aside like a spent torch. Well, I know I've got to take this, so here we go. And, uh, well, ooh, yeah, he's actually- ooh, he's gonna gain a level! Okay, so there's a positive, there's a silver lining, and how about we take you two? Because we probably Sister need ya. Battle, pious and, unrelenting. and we could use a bounty hunter, I, I, I killed my high level one, so... Fuck it, why not? That sounds good, let's do it. The thrill of the hunt. The promise of payment. Did you guys know you can upgrade the stagecoach? Thanks for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon! Oh, we don't take it too seriously. It's a goof. It's a good time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.